So by now, hopefully you've read the post and seen all the reasons why I recommend Beaver Builder, particularly to freelance folks because of the flexibility that it gives you. You can pre-create certain content, certain styles, certain layouts, and have them ready so that when your customer says, I need to do this or that, you know, I, I want to introduce a new bar of color with a call out or whatever, you can pre-create that and have it set up for them. So let's do that. Here you'll see that I'm going to go into templates, right? And here we have some different templates. I'm going to create a brand new template. This template is going to be really silly. It's going to be simple. It's going to be the bar of color with a uh, email sign up. Okay, so uh, it's not even a landing page. It's going to be actually in the new section called um, uh, bars. Uh, actually, let's call them sections. All right. So we'll add a new category section. We're going to hit publish right away just to save it. And we're going to launch our page builder. And when I do, right, I'm going to come in. I'm going to add a single column row. I'm going to come in and edit that row and say that I want it to be a full width row where the content sits in the middle. And I want to change the uh, text color to be white. And I want to change the background to be a color. And I'm going to pick a color here. And in this case, let's go for, let's just assume it's going to be a, like a nice, dark, deep, rich red, right? And uh, I don't need to worry about the border or whatever. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. So now we have this bar of color. And then what we want to do is we want to come into our advanced modules. And we're going to come up to a subscribe form put it right in here, okay? And uh, we're gonna put email, right? Just say, I, you know, uh, for right now, I just want it to be an email. Notice what I'm, what's gonna happen is when the client gets this, they're gonna come in and pick their own stuff, right? MailChimp or AWeber. But I, I, just, I just need it so that they can see it, right? And I don't, I don't wanna do it stacked, I wanna do it inline, right? And so you're gonna see this suddenly change and look that way. I'm not gonna show the name field. So it's just going to be the email address, right? Which is good. The um, when when they click the button and, and it's success, right? I'm going to leave this text there for that. When we come to the button, right? Uh, I don't want to put subscribe, right? I want to put uh, sign up now, right? A little more text, and um, or what if this was a what if this was a download, right? We're prepping someone to download something. Again, I just have to imagine this little concept that people are going to be able to use later. Uh, well, sign up now is fine. Or let's let's do download this free gift, right? And I can even decide if I want to put some sort of icon, right? And it's going to ask me, do I want to put it before the text or after? You'll notice it shows up right there. Um, now the button color, right? What's the background color or the hover color? So let's say that I wanted to make it look uh, light against that darker red, and then I wanted the hover color to be super dark, right? When we roll over this thing, um, and then of course the text color is uh, is going to be dark when we're when we're doing things, right? And when we hover and it gets really dark, we want to move it to something really light, right? Uh, we want a flat button style. That's going to be good. Uh, let's say that we want this to be a little bit bigger, right? Um, so you'll see that it automatically adjusts the size right there. And we can change the padding if we want. Let's say we made it 20. So this is going to make it a little bit bigger. It naturally makes the email sign up bigger as well. And I could change the rounding quarters if I want, but I don't. And so I'm going to hit save. Okay. And here's my bar of color with the email, whatever. But you go, wait, that looks a little boring. We probably need to add something to the top. That's not a problem because I can come up here and I can add a heading to this, right? Right above it. And in the heading, I can say, um, you want to sign up right now. Okay. Um, I can leave this uh, alone. I don't have to worry about that. When I come into the style, right? Uh, I can leave it white. That's good. 
I can say the left alignment is fine. I can change this if I want semantic richness to be tied to an H2 tag, I can do that. Notice it makes it a little bit bigger. If I want to change the font to make it even bigger, I can. I can totally do that. Let's say I wanted to make it much bigger there, right? That's fine. And uh, and notice that I have, because this is a heading, I have all the Google fonts here. So I could get really crazy with stuff, but I'm, I'm not going to. But know that that's there. And, uh, and they can do that, right? And then for mobile, right? You'll notice the font size, I wanna leave it the default. So on mobile, it may not be that huge, that's okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is hit save here. Now I have a panel the way I like, and I'm gonna hit done, right? Publish the changes. All I did was I created a part, right? A, a, a little, a template, but it's just a little part. So now what happens, right, is let's say we go back into the site. Now imagine this is a customer site and they go and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna create a new page, right? And this is their, uh, I finally published my ebook. That's their page, right? They're so excited, they have a page, they're, they're ready to do it, and you say, well, you know, you can use the, the, the page builder for that, and notice right now that I can go and see, you know, Beaver Builder comes with tons of layout templates, right? And then they even have content pages, right? So if, you, if you're trying to say, okay, what kind of page do I want to put here? And look at all the different settings that they have set up for you. But they also have the your, they have the your templates. And in the sections, remember, because we have a new category, they have this bar color. So I can just click it and guess what it's going to do? It's going to drop it in. Now they could have had other stuff like they could have said, because you know, uh, clients work this way. So they come up way up here and they're like, let's put in a new row and put a content slider and they have all this stuff, right? And that's fine, that's not, that's not the point. The point is that uh, with this little part, you can, for your customers, you can create lots of little parts that do different things. You can style it, you can colorize it, you can do all the things prepared, sitting in the wings so that when they finally hit that point where they're like, oh, I also wanna do this. and. And remember, right, uh, at the end of the day, you might have four, five, six of these parts. You might reuse them on several different clients, and you might just go in and colorize them to fit the style you're working. But you have them stored there. You can, if you saw my post the other day, you can save these layouts, export them. You can import them back into another site. Um, but these little parts make everything a lot more flexible, uh, everything a lot easier so that when that customer calls and wants something. Now, obviously, you saw me moving and dragging things, right? Their other, the other benefit of Beaver Builder, right, is that customers can do this, right? They can, they can move things around and say, I, you know, this is what I like. Look, they drag it around and they put, no, no one's going to want to put the, the heading down below, right? Um, but you can do that, right? You can do, you can do anything you want. You can put, like, for example, notice we just put the heading outside of the bar. They can do that or they can bring it down into the bar. Uh, no, no problem whatsoever, right? So lots of freedom to create that flexibility and prepare it for customers. Thanks.